The Duchess of Sussex audibly gasped as she walked into the room where her gown, created by Claire Waite Keller, was being prepared for a display at Windsor Castle. Meghan also revealed to the curator that a piece of blue fabric from a dress she wore on her first date with Prince Harry was stitched into the lining of her wedding dress as her something borrowed. Kate was joined by the Queen as she was reunited with her wedding dress three months after the Duchess' marriage to Prince William in April 2011. The monarch and her granddaughter in law were given a tour of the display, which had a 3D effect, complete with Kate's borrowed Cartier Halo tiara. The satin and lace gown, made by Sarah Burton for Alexander McQueen, went on display at Buckingham Palace during its annual summer opening. Princess Beatrice has been reunited with her vintage wedding dress ahead of the gown going on public display at Windsor Castle from Thursday, the 24th of September. The 94 year old monarch loaned Beatrice one of her Norman Hartnell gowns, which was altered for the royal bride for her wedding day. The Queen's granddaughter was said to be excited to see her dress for the first time since she exchanged vows with property developer Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi in July. The Duke of York's youngest daughter got another glimpse of her wedding dress in 2019 before a royal wedding exhibition at Windsor Castle. Eugenie beamed as she toured the display. Which included her Peter Pilato gown alongside the suit worn by her groom, Jack Brooksbank, at their October 2018 wedding. The monarch was reunited with her 1947 Norman Hartnell wedding gown ahead of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh's diamond wedding anniversary in 2007. The ivory silk dress was decorated with 10,000 pearls and featured delicate floral designs. Princess Beatrice's royal wedding china revealed. And it's inspired by her secret nuptials. The unique items complement the new display of Beatrice's vintage wedding gown at Windsor Castle. You don't need to have been a guest at Princess Beatrice's surprise royal wedding to enjoy her big day. A range of commemorative chinaware has been launched by the Royal Collection Trust to celebrate the July 17th nuptials, which discreetly took place at All Saints Chapel in Windsor Great Park. Just 20 close friends and family attended the service, including Queen Elizabeth, 94, Prince Philip, 99, sister Princess Eugenie, 30, and Beatrice's father, Prince Andrew, 60. The celebratory items, which went on sale Wednesday, include a pair of $50 tankards gilded with 22 karat gold that bear the monograms of Beatrice and her Italian property developer husband Eduardo Mapelli Mazzi. Known as Edo to his close friends, the delicate wedding tankards were made in Stoke on Trent, England, an area known as the Potteries, for its long history of ceramic expertise, using traditional methods that have remained unchanged for more than 250 years. They're also complemented in the collection by an equally delicate china royal wedding pillbox, $45, which bears Beatrice's monogram on the lid and Edo's on the inside. They follow on the heels of similar china items honoring royal milestones such as the May 2018 wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle and the 2013 birth of Prince George, which included items carrying the words "Royal Baby." Until parents Prince William and Kate Middleton revealed the little prince's name to the world, Prince Harry had dust up with Queen's closest adviser ahead of wedding to Meghan Markle. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's spectacular royal wedding was every bit the fairy tale, but there were moments of tension ahead of the big day, including a dust-up between Harry and one of the Queen's closest confidants. Bookfinding Freedom has claimed Prince Harry, 36, and Meghan Markle, 39, tied the knot on May 19, 2018, at St George's Chapel in Windsor. The lavish event required meticulous planning and was watched by royal fans everywhere. Now, new book Finding Freedom by Omid Scabi and Carolyn Durand has shed light on the days and weeks leading up to the wedding and contains sensational claims about a reported falling out between Prince Harry and Queen Elizabeth II's headdresser Angela Kelly. Angela is known to be the Queen's closest confidant and has been employed by the royal household since 2002. Angela is one of the few people who can handle the Queen's tiaras, and after it had been decided which tiara Meghan should wear, an appointment needed to be arranged with Angela so she could try the precious piece on with styled hair. 
According to Mr. Scobby and Ms. Durand, tension between Prince Harry and Mrs. Kelly arose when it came to organizing a hair appointment for Meghan to try on her tiara. The book claims Harry felt Angela was ignoring his requests to book in a hair appointment for Meghan. Mr. Scobby and Ms. Durand write, Like most senior staff at Buckingham Palace, Angela is on call should Her Majesty require her service, and at the time of the first hair trial requests, she had apparently been busy at Windsor Castle, where the Queen was based for Easter Court. Mr. Scobby and Ms. Durand claim Harry's frustration culminated in a heated exchange between him and the Queen's headdresser. The authors claim the tiara trial issue continued to be a source of tension with the wedding just a few weeks away. According to Mr. Scobby and Ms. Durand, Prince Harry ultimately went to the Queen to seek help with the issue. They write, in the end, Harry had to speak to his grandmother about the situation. And she got her trial.